Listen, uh, this is Prophet William J. Plank. I guess this is, I guess this is Jesus' will. I'm not sure, Obama. But for some odd reason, I keep giving you inventive ideas and I keep being kind in Christ and all I keep getting is someone trying to slap me in my face. I don't know if it's you or not, uh, but you're the covering over them. But for some odd reason, your government here in New York State is continually disrespecting me and, and, and making up lies. My wife and me both are entitled to unemployment right now, and we've been cut from it. And then you go on even deeper to lie and state that my wife was uh, overpaid $434. This is a blatant lie. So, let's set my queen to the left here and get to the chase here. I have this feeling that uh, your government business, because it's only a business, it's not the ruler of my land. This is my land, Obama. This is Zion. This is Hebrew property. Only Jesus rules higher than me on this property and the Pope. The Pope and Jesus only. I am Native American, Austrian, St. Benedict, J. Soup Monk of the Hebrew order. And my wife doesn't owe you anything. I've given your army many war crafts. You've stolen my family's mobile oil, stole many royalty powers, and for some odd reason, somebody here in the New York State government system is trying to punk me. Listen, let me make this clear, okay? I don't know if you're out of wedlock or not, Obama. I'm assuming you were born out of wedlock. And if that's true, don't be offended by me, but out of wedlocks aren't allowed to rule over anyone. It's forbidden by Jesus. Though you may be born again in Christ, and we're all in the body of Christ, there's no way in Jesus that God is going to give an out-of-wedlock born-again Christian more holy rights than us that were born right. It's a fact. But, I am continually being disrespected here. Let me tell all you men something, because women have nothing to do with this. There is not a man in this earth under Jesus' rule on my property that can lick me in the spirit. And if you guys want to keep fighting, do you realize you're cheating? You, <laughs> you men are cheating to win. You're trying to cheat to win. You're trying to defeat me and my position under the Pope by cheating, by trying to manipulate the system to get to stand greater than where I stand. It's not going to happen. You're not fooling anybody but yourselves. You're going to go to hell fast messing with me. Do you understand? I don't think you really understand. The United States military is not that powerful. The only reason why it was ever powerful is because the Apache Christian covering has been over them, which is my covering. Do you understand? You guys are babies to me. You're defiant, too. I really think that you males that are part of this need to get off my property. I really want you men 
that will not obey Jesus, the Pope, or me, I want you off my property. If you do not leave my property, I will have Jesus Christ divinely remove you from my land. This is Hebrew Zion. And this is not a game. You're on my property. And since you're not obeying and you will not submit to proper authority, you are banished from my land. Now, you will decide to either obey this voice or suffer the consequences of your due penalty to challenge God's people. Acts 3.22 and verse 23 Acts 5.39. Woo! If you really think you can take me, bring it on, brother! I will head you into hell. Hallelujah!